Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Libra. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates, then it's yours at that time. Libra, right as I hit the record button, this, this energy of just peacefulness came over me. I've been feeling really edgy and kind of anxious all morning. And now that I'm in your reading, I'm feeling really at ease and I'm, I'm loving it. it's a welcome energy. But what's interesting is your reading itself is really full of perhaps that edgy, anxious feeling. And so just because it feels to me like you're facing a big decision, you're kind of in between two things, unsure how to proceed or which way to go. And so it's that edginess, this back and forth energy, right? Um, but I'm taking it as a really good sign for you that this calm coming in now means that there is a resolution coming for you, right? So we're beginning here with the, the dream decoder card for you, which is being at school. And there's two messages coming through this for you today. One of them, I believe, is your energy your perception of what's going on is feeling like you're being tested, feeling frustrated at another test. The card, the guidance coming through the card is saying you're not being tested, but there is a new, you're being, you're coming into a newness. So there's a learning curve. There is learning going on, but that's different than being tested. There's no lesson, <clears throat> there's no test, and all of the answers are available to you, but I feel like you're not feeling that right now. Because you're in this hangman mode, hangman mode, you're in hangman energy, which is kind of a, a limbo, not sure how to proceed with the 10 of wands, feeling really burdened about this. You feel like you're in between, you're in between Partners, perhaps you're in between. I say partners because this feels very much like a relationship reading to me. It feels to me the cards are talking about very specifically kind of a choice between two people or two relationships. One of them seems to be one that you've already experienced and is very familiar to you. And the other is something completely mysterious and brand new. So although the cards are very clearly showing me relationship, this could just be talking about future and past, right? It's like you're moving into an unknown future, um, leaving a comforting, familiar past, but you're kind of right in the middle right now, feeling almost like this tug of war between the two. That's what this hangman energy is talking about. It's almost like you can't this hangman and actually this three of swords, which is coming out much later in the reading, it's feeling like this tug of war. It's not necessarily heartbreak energy. It's feeling to me more like being pulled in a whole bunch of different directions, like a tug of war, a pulling on your energy. And because there's such a pull from both aspects, because it's feeling very dual or, or past, future, there's two things here, two options. And it feels to me like they're both very, they both, you're attached to both of them in some way, right? So you're kind of stuck in the middle. And the 10 of wands is talking about how it's, it's getting, you're getting very frustrated and you're just wanting to put the whole thing down. You're wanting the answers to be given to you with the star card coming out later. I'm getting from this star energy today that you're wishing that first of all that the answers would be given to you or a clear path would be lit for you so you it's like you are faced with a big decision and you don't want to have to you don't want to make a decision so there's this energy in this star talking about wishing that there was some way maybe to combine all of it like that you don't want to have to choose one thing over the other or, you, you know, you don't want to sacrifice your past in order to move into a future. It's something like that. It's like you're wishing there was <clears throat> some best case scenario where you could have all of it. You can combine all of it or combine the best aspects of all of it into one option. It's like you're saying, I don't want options. I don't want this test. I don't want this question right now. <clears throat> so... 
Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles. This is this dichotomy. These are the, the two energies pulling on you. You've got this Seven of Wands, which actually talks to me about future, a future version, a future ideal version of yourself or your life. I say that because it's like a crystal ball, looking into the crystal ball and seeing what's coming ahead for you. It's interesting, I'm suddenly wanting to make that distinction. Looking into the crystal ball and seeing your future isn't necessarily the same thing as what you desire. It's like project the difference between projection of your ideal future because looking into the ball looking into a crystal ball is receiving a vision of your future but how i often talk about this card is an ideal version of your future which would be an image that you're imposing on the future or hoping for in the future so maybe there's a big question for you there about that about it's like you're you feel like you're really being drawn to move into this future unknown this future unknown relationship, perhaps. I'm going to talk about this like it's relationships because that's how it's coming through. You seem to be being presented with a new relationship with this Knight of Cups coming up here. And it's like there's something really incredibly attractive about this possibility that what I often see in this Knight of Cups is that there's, there's a lot unknown there's a lot unknown about him. I mean, he's brand new. You don't know this character. They're brand new on the scene. And when you look at them, it's like, am I projecting a desired future or am I receiving a glimpse of what's really out there? That could be part of what you're trying to negotiate here with this, with this new option, right? But what I always see in this card is that there's a lot unseen about this character, and I want to say it's it's like a good surprise. It's like unexpected. There's something really unexpected to discover about this one. He comes through, if we're talking about him, this new person comes through initially as, you know, very mysterious, almost like a bad boy type energy, right? They could be making you nervous. It could The possibility of them makes you nervous. You're not sure if you can trust them, but the energy that I feel underneath it is that there's this actually this amazing goodness in them. It, they're a really delightfully surprising. There's something really surprising about them that isn't apparent in the beginning. It's almost like you have to look past the bad boy exterior it's not literally bad boy exterior, but it's like there's something about them when they first appear in your life that it's like you have to look beyond that to see there's something really amazing to discover about them. And they're not showing it right away. Maybe they don't even know. Or maybe it's not even them. It's about the two of you coming together. There's something really delightful in the two of you together. So they might not know it. It's not like they're, they're keeping it in their back pocket. It's something, it's a future unfolding, a really delightful future unfolding. And then I'm noticing the horse in the background and suddenly getting all this stuff about freedom and swift movement and change. Freedom, freedom. So, so there's that, there's this future. And then there's this energy, the four pentacles and the ten of cups, which is past maybe moving into present I can't quite feel I want to say it's almost past because I feel very strongly like you're in between you're not in either of these energies fully but there's this ten of cups which feels very it's very much like a six of cups energy today where it just feels like home it feels nostalgia it feels like comfort it feels like family you know it feels like you can breathe deeply and easily and all of your guard is down. It's complete comfort and your natural authenticity, right? And why this four of pentacles is coming up is because 
it feels to me like every time you lean towards this, this exciting and mysterious future possibility, something about this energy, the mysteriousness of it, maybe the bad boy exterior of it, whatever that represents, um, kind of pushes you back into this four of pentacles, which is wanting to hold on to your home base, your what's familiar, wanting to be not wanting, suddenly not wanting change, feeling like you're ready for change and wanting change with this 10 of cups as fulfilling and nourishing and comforting as this energy is. It is a 10, right? So it is, it has an energy of completion in it. So either it has completed and you're you're now beyond it, especially with these backs turned. It's like you're kind of outside of it. And if you're not completely outside of it, it's this feeling of this is wrapping up. This is a complete cycle. And so naturally leaning towards the next new thing. But as you as that energy touches upon you, you almost like run back to your comfort zone. Right? So that's what I'm saying. You're back and forth. You're in between. It feels to me like you go, you go back and forth. And so that's why you're kind of in this hangman in the middle, not having clarity about it's like there's discomfort in both directions. There's de there's desire in both directions, and there's discomfort in both directions. And it's like you're just wanting it to be easy. You're just wanting it to be easy. Why can't why can't this be easier? Why does this have to be such a struggle? This tug of war on your energy, right? And then so here, down here is the, this three of cups, the tug of war, and the lovers, right? This, it's the same energy playing out. Again, this being a past energy, this three of cups to me always looks like being on the outside looking at past best friends, past soulmates, past, almost like, like I said, there's the six of cups energy. It's like almost like an energy of going back to your childhood or going back into your youth, this connection that's been with you all this time. But interesting that all of these backs are turned on you, right? So maybe it has ended or maybe you're just feeling outside of it because this is pulling on you perhaps. There's some future thing that's pulling on you. It may, be, it may be pulling you out of this energy. And so you're suddenly kind of on the outside of it, looking at it almost like that you don't belong there anymore, even though it's home. There's this message of being foreign suddenly in this energy, looking at it from the outside. It's really interesting. So, and because like, like I was saying with the 10 of cups, it's like, because the, it is a naturally completing energy, right? You're, you've reached the 10, you've reached the full expression of this energy. And so it's natural that you would then lean into a new thing. It, it feels to me like it's almost, you're kind of finding yourself in the middle that part of it almost wasn't your choice. There's this frustration here. This is like you being frustrated, maybe screaming at the universe, maybe just frustrated with life in general because it's almost like you didn't choose to be outside of this. It's like you, you expected this to last indefinitely. And now that you're suddenly outside of it, you're frustrated. But then there's also this really compelling energy pulling you into the future. There's lovers, this lover's energy, this lover's energy. I don't know why it's, it's coming through here as ideal. I don't know. Is there something in this energy? Well, there must be because we're in an, we're in an ever evolving process an ever evolving expansive unfolding right so whatever is lying ahead in your future does have something within it that the past doesn't have there's always newness there's always newness in the future and that's maybe what this is talking about it's like you're learning something about this new 
you always thought it was going to be this, maybe like forevermore. And it's kind of breaking your heart to discover that you're almost suddenly dissatisfied with it or standing on the outside of it, looking in, feeling dissociated is what I'm getting. You're almost feeling dissociated from it, almost feeling like you're looking at your past and it's, it's no longer your present. You're looking at your past. It's no longer your present. Really wanting strongly to hold on to it, to keep steady, to stop change from happening. But it's like you're being moved. You're being moved. So the two of pentacles here, just more confirmation that you are between. You are in between. It's the two of pentacles, but this pentacle is, this pentacle is very... Um, solid and manifest and this one is just this well it's a star it's a star it's very energetic it's they're both tied to you they're both very connected to you you're stuck in the middle between these two it almost feels like two extremes right like do it, like it's bringing in a lot of duality it's bringing in a lot of duality past, future, maybe light and dark, although it's not like, well, there's, well, maybe there is something about good and bad here in the sense that, I mean, you may have, I mean, maybe you're, you're walking out of a marriage suddenly under, not understanding why you're dissatisfied with it and desiring some hot, new, passionate, Connection and that's feeling good and bad to you, right? Like having self-judgment about your own desires. There is something in here about almost not wanting to admit your true desire. That could be in this energy. So ending with these kings here. I don't think I've ever done a reading like this before where it feels like it's almost like a love triangle type of energy, but I don't, well, you are connected to both, right? So maybe you have met this future. They feel like a future ideal potential. I don't know if they're actually at your door or if they're actually in your experience yet, but you're tied to both. You're feeling a pull to both. And so you're kind of in the middle between these two options tied to both yet not really in either that's the interesting thing so it's like a love triangle type of energy but you're not really in relationship with either of them currently because this feels like this king of cups feels like this this past maybe you're still in it but you're not in it anymore right it's like your heart's not in it suddenly suddenly something has shifted for you and your heart isn't in it anymore so you're not really connected to them, but then you're also not really connected to this one either because it's feeling, like I said, if they are in your life, it's like they're still just at your door. They're not, you haven't allowed them in yet. They're not yet in your heart. If you see what I mean. And again, this kind of, this duality is talking about emotion and intellect. This one is at the sea and this one is in the mountains. They're, you know, both options are, I mean, there's a lot of similarities. They're both kings. They're both men, perhaps. Um, but their energies are very different, right? But there's so much, there's so much connecting them. There's so much blending in these visuals. They both got their own unique amazingness, right? Like this one obviously is feeling very spiritual, very emotionally open. Maybe a musician is what I want to say. Very watery, right? The king of, of cups. Very, um, very intuitive. And this one is this rational, intellectual, maybe very science-minded, maybe very calculating. That could be what... A little bit of what's making you nervous about them is that you can see that they're strategic and it's like what what do you have up your sleeve i can see that your mind is always going 
and he's got his own amazingness, right? This owl is very wise. He comes, you know, he's very truthful and upfront. He speaks the truth. He's got a dragonfly with him too. So he's incredibly spiritual as well. They're both very spiritual energies, but it's like you receive really different things from both of these characters, right? And this one feels really edgy and risky and mysterious. That bad boy energy again, it's very alluring and attractive, but this is really comfortable. Like I said, every time you move into this, this is like, you're not sure what you're getting into. It's like, you almost want to run back here and be comforted by this one. But then when you get over here, it's almost, it's just, it's too familiar to you and you need something new and exciting. So you're in between these two things and it's like you're saying to the universe can't we just combine all of these elements somehow can't we just and that's interesting how I was saying that about how there there is a lot of connectedness between these two things there is this is there a possibility to combine this somehow maybe there's some third option where all of this is blended somehow I'm not talking about open relationship maybe maybe for some of you but I also really suddenly at the end here want to want to bring this back to this may not be talking about relationships. This could just be symbolic of past comfort and future mystery and excitement, right? So it's like you're in between old life and new life. And like I said, feeling the draw between feeling drawn to both and feeling almost repelled by both for different reasons and just not feeling like you have to make a choice you have to choose, but maybe you don't. That's the thing. Maybe you don't have to choose. I mean, non-choice is a choice as well. Maybe that is the third option. Maybe you're not choosing. Maybe it's unfolding naturally. You're going to naturally find yourself where you're meant to be. So Libra, I'm going to continue to pull cards. See if we can get some more clarity about some advice. I want to, I want some guidance and advice about what's the best way to navigate through this energy because it's very clear to me that you are just being, you're in this tug of war and you need, you need it to be resolved because it's starting to really weigh you down. It's starting to have, it could actually be beginning to have negative like health impact on you where you're, you're just feeling you're starting to really feel it in your body you're starting to feel really frustrated in your spirit and it's like you're starting to have issue with with the whole matter it's feeling kind of unfair to you like you're being tested and you need a way to navigate through or find resolution so that's what i'm going to aim at in the extended um if you're interested in that link is in the description and if not i'll see you next time libra remember it's not a test it's it's the arrival of a new energy in your life. It's a learning curve. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.